Let's learn in this video how to create a CI pipeline using workflows within GitHub Actions for a web application. This pipeline will go to check out the application source code within the build machine, then it will go to restore the dependencies, then compile that application, and then publish the artifacts within GitHub Artifacts. We'll take into example a sample ASP.NET Core application. Let's see how that works. So here I have this example within my GitHub repository that I have triggered right now. And that's going to go to build the .NET Core application. So if I see inside that job, all the steps that will be run here are to set up the .NET in order to install the exact version of .NET inside the runner machine. And then it will go to restore the dependencies and then it will go to build the project, the .NET Core project, and then it will go to test that project. It will go to run unit tests if they exist. Let me walk you through this project. So here in this GitHub repository, I have all the application source code. So here I have actually a sample .NET application within this folder. That's an, a sample MVC application that have some controllers, views, and so on. So it's a C-sharp application right here. You can go to uh, fork this uh, repository within your own GitHub repo in order to have this source code available in your, uh, in your project. So now I want to create a workflow for this project in order to compile that application. So what I have done here is that I have go to the actions and from here I can go to create a new workflow. So I go to new workflow and then I can go to choose one workflow for .NET. And yes, we have multiple ones actually for .NET desktop if you are using .NET framework. That's the old .NET that runs only on Windows. Or you can use .NET and this is .NET Core and also .NET 5.0, 6.0, 7.0 and so on. And I have chosen this one. So I say configure. And here I would have a sample workflow for my .NET Core application. So in this pipeline, it will go just to set up the .NET within the steps. First step is to go to set up the .NET and then we can specify the exact version of .NET. So in this case, it's choosing 5.0.x, x to say whatever the latest version after 5.0. And then we go here to restore the dependencies. So within .NET, we can run the command .NET restore in order to, uh, to extract or in order to resolve the NuGet packages. And then the command .NET build in order to compile the application and then .NET test in order to run unit tests if they exist. So this pipeline is very simple, but it's just for the CI workflow for my application. Here, I'm not talking about anything related to how we can deploy this application into a web server or into the cloud or so on. But we can, of course, do this. So let me give you an overview because this is going to be covered in another video, but to show you a small overview. So here, if I go again to the actions and then if I go to create a new workflow, I can see here one example for deploying a .NET Core app into Azure Web App. So if I go to configure that pipeline, I can see here the, the, uh, what this pipeline will go is that it will take the credentials for my Azure subscription and then it will go to run the same steps for as part of the build uh, a job right here. It will go to create the package for me. So it will uh, resolve the .NET, uh, uh, it will resolve the NuGet packages. Then it will go to build the application and create the publish folder using the command .NET publish. And then it will go to upload that artifact or that, uh, that uh, package into GitHub. So then later from the deploy job, this will run on another machine. So it doesn't have that artifact in this second machine. So it will need first to go to download that artifact from build the job. And note here, it's not uh, downloading the application source code. It's not doing git clone. Okay, so it needs only to get the build artifact. So it will download that build artifact. Then it will go to connect to the Azure subscription using that publish profile from the Azure App Service. And then it will go to, uh, to uh, publish that uh, web app into Azure. Follow me next to see how this uh, works in real life. Thank you.